Hello, Stephen Kasamba. Hello. Uh, thank you very much for accepting our invitation today. Thank you. I've heard so many things about you, Steve. I've heard that you're an actor, a singer, a dancer. Okay. Okay. A drama. Okay. Come on, how can one person have all these talents? Tell us more about yourself. <coughs> well, first of all, I'm not a singer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm a supporting artist in terms of singing. Okay. Um, but as you know, in Africa, uh, we do a variety of things. We don't go to school mm -hmm. to learn how to, to drum or to, to, to act or this part of our thing when we're growing up. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> if you love performing arts, then obviously these are the things that you pick up okay. as you grow, as you grow. Mm -hmm. So obviously coming here in this country, um, you, 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 you get the opportunity of pushing that passion into different uh, mainstreams. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think, um, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm talented, mm -hmm. but I'll say I'm blessed okay. to have what I have okay. and uh, entertain those who have seen me being entertained. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what do you do? <coughs> what, what do you do? You said you're a um, supporting artist mm -hmm. in singing. In singing. What yes. about acting? Do you act? Is, are there any plays that you've done? Yes, um, I'm an actor. I have a passion in acting. Um, I went to uh, Roehampton University uh, to do dance, drama, and theatre studies, mm -hmm. which I graduated in 2007. Um, and within that period, we were doing a lot of English plays like the um, uh, Romeo and Juliet, Othello. Uh, we did um, a lot of. Um, um, operatic society theatres like Mikado, I don't know if you know them. Um, we did um, The Sound of Music, <coughs> West Side Story, things like that. So mm -hmm. I did a lot of Western plays. And okay. then obviously in um, 2008 we did a movie, which is a Ugandan movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Akavium Love. Um, then we did another movie as well called Who's to Blame. Uh, but they're all, you know, trying on movies mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 a, lo a long which they would say a feature film okay. but <clears throat> we all of us we never went to school and just to to do that movie obviously mm -hmm. but it's something that um we put on together and then we, you know it was done so it's quite long about i think 120 minutes wow. each yeah part okay. one part two mm. Um, and then obviously I do act on stage, theatre theater work, okay. which I did one of the play called The Darkest Hours of Victory. Okay. Um, I've done quite a lot of, of plays mm -hmm. um, um, as I've been in the UK. Okay. Um, so I'm quite really quite strong and, and I love acting, I like being, I like, I like being on stage um, wearing the character that I'm not. Mm -hmm. um, then we did African Women, which is an, another play. Uh, mm -hmm. written by the lady called Millie. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Darkest Hour was written by a lady called you. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> a lady called you, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, okay, all right. A lady right, called by you. Um, which <clears throat> we, we did, I think, about three or four times. Mm -hmm. um, and I had uh, one of the leading roles of uh, Kamau, uh, the... Uh, I would say the veteran, uh, the, the warrior in the Mau Mau mm. uh, regime uh, in Kenya. Mm. So, uh, as I said, I'm coming back to that is, um, I wouldn't say I'm great, but I'm blessed mm -hmm. to have what I have. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side, I do drum, uh, Ugandan drums especially. Okay. Um, I play instruments called um, Adungu, mm -hmm. um, and um, I dance purely most of the time with Ugandan, Ugandan style of dances, okay. um, local dances, and then just extending them really. Mm. But I'm getting old now, I'm just trying to focus more on acting than, um, than dancing. Okay. Yeah. But wow. I love music. Wow, yeah. that's a lot to get up on with. That is so good. Wow, you're multi-talented -ta really. Mm. So you say that you had a play called, it was like in Ugandan name, mm. the first uh, play. Akavium Love. It Akavium. was a movie. Oh, it was a movie. Yeah. So what's movies. the meaning of that, Akavium Love? Akavium Love, it's uh, basically chaos, the chaos in a relationship. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that, yeah. that was nice. Yeah. Is it out? 
think yes, it's out. It's on YouTube. You mm -hmm. can you can type in Akavi Umlao. You mm -hmm. can find it. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 not subtitled. It's you know in Uganda because we're colonized by Great Britain. Okay. So we we tend to speak our local language okay. mixed with English. Mm -hmm. So you get some parts which are in 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 Uganda and mm -hmm. some parts which are in English. So it and they're not subtitled. So if you follow the story, maybe okay. you can you can you can you can pick it up. But it was it was a trial movie. Mm -hmm. I would say it was trial, um, and none of the people who got involved got paid. Uh, oh, we really? just were, yeah, we're just doing it for the love passion. of it, passion of it. Yeah, that's the thing <clears throat> with artists. I think if you have a passion, it's not always about the money, mm -hmm. but the passion. Yeah. So if we have passion, mm -hmm. then we really, really move far as artists. Yeah, absolutely. And you also spoke about um, you said you did uh, African women. African women. Yeah. Mm. How was that? Can you um, tell us more about the African women? Yeah, that's the play, <coughs> obviously written by Millie, mm. and it's uh, it's it's entailing the story about the typical African men. Typical right? African. Typical men. African men. I like Not that. now, all right. <laughs> but them days, all right. <laughs> Where men or men were so authoritative mm -hmm. and could not allow women to to have nice things or to eat nice things, mm -hmm. and there's, there's there are lots of scenes about the, the, the abuse. There's a lot of uh, I would say violence, mm. uh, child abuse mm. because already the this man, this character, mm. unfortunately they gave it to me, um, it, Mr. Nkuyege, yeah, right. He is the kind of character who knows that everything he d he knows what he wants mm -hmm. and whatever he does has to go. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, the, when the daughter was growing up, they, he thought, okay, the best me best way for me to be rich is yes. to marry my daughter off mm. uh, so that I get rich. Mm. Uh, so he was doing all those games and it was um, he had a variety of women. Okay, he was exchanging them. Um, as they used to do it. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't think they do it now. Mm. No, we don't do that. Um, <laughs> I won't be surprised. Uh, no, no. I won't be surprised. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but it's a very, very strong play. Mm -hmm. And um, all these features about abuse and violence and, and all that. It, says, it tells that story. Mm -hmm. And the last time I think we played it, I think was in Northampton. Okay. Where I think they're raising money for a maternity ward in um, in uh, Zimbabwe. Okay. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. Isn't it's called African women? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Kuyege had three wives, a daughter, and it keeps bringing more women. So women were enslaved to go in the garden, start digging, start doing all this. While yeah. when they come, take fruits and vegetables to have it. You know, mm -hmm. go to the market selling. They bring the money home. He comes back. He picks the money, takes it, drink, use it, drinking it, and well, all variety of things. So, really, women are not impressed. So then, in the end, obviously, um, it gives the liberation and independence of women, okay. uh, freedom as well. Okay. So, so I know you say that you've done things like Shakespeare mm -hmm. or Othello. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between if you're doing those plays and an African play? Is there acting any... is different. Okay. Acting, African acting is different and West African acting is different. Mm. Why? Um, Shakespeare is about the language. Okay. Um, in Africa, I would say personally, mm. it's about the story and the message you bring across. Okay. With Shakespeare, you have to get the language right mm. and then the acting will come in mm. because the language tells the story. Okay. Right. In Africa, we tend to use more gesture work. Mm. Um, every time we talk, we use sign language. We mm. use a lot of gesture work, which is not a lot in, in most of English plays. Yes. Everything has to be choreographed, yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, so um, the way we act in Africa mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, uh, and the, the way Western act is different. Yeah. But if you mix both, the, the way uh, act, uh, the Western would expect you to, to react or mm -hmm. to be in the theatre, how you speak, 
the, 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 the projection. Mm. Um, and we're blessed actually Africans because we have really strong voices. We okay. have strong voices to naturally, project naturally. naturally yeah. So we don't really need microphones or anything mm. like that. Mm. And most of our performances anyway, because they're outdoor yeah. or they're community performances, mm. we tend to project more. We tend to use our vocals, maybe yeah. even our um, natural way of, you know, raise, being raised up and mm. all that. Maybe it helps us as well to be strong in our voices. Um, so that's one of them. Here, you have to project, um, but sometimes when we're at Riverside, a theatre in um, Hammersmith, yeah. there was a play uh, which was written by um, a person, a gentleman called che 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 Chekhov, Chekhov, yes, Chekhov, um, Scott, Scott, from, uh, from um, um, Moscow area. Okay. Um, so, but the what they were doing, it's that's the way they were doing it. It was more directly African way because there was a chair, two two characters were playing on stage, no microphones, and they were just improvising, mm. um, improvising this, improvising that. In we use a lot of improvisation in Africa as well. Yeah. Um, but we tend to be more um, um, kind of like bringing our personal life into into the thing which is good mm -hmm. right and um we jelly together plus the performances and something yeah. like that and we i don't think for, for us when we act the african way and when you act the english way you know it sounds so weird like mm -hmm. you have african way and english way yeah it's it's um you have the, those those margins first of all as you speak mm -hmm. it's very important because we speak African, yeah. our language and everything. Um, when when we're doing the sound of music, because the sound of music, we okay, they lay, they change it into uh, the sound, this sound of mischief. Mm. Yeah, sound of mischief instead of sound of music. Mm. So it's same songs, but they took out some stuff. So it's a follow up. It's something that was done before in a movie and it was put on stage. Mm. Whereas ours is more picking this adding things together like DIY I would say all right okay. to bring the whole picture alive mm. which is more exciting because we need things like that in life mm. um, and even when we go to schools to, to train children or mm. teach them about African culture um, these are the things that we tell them um, mm. that we, we never had opportunity of microphones we never had opportunity of this uh, technology so we use we use things that are surrounded by us mm. to, to, you know, to bring something good out of it. Okay. So it, it's, it's part of it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I heard you mention workshops <coughs> in schools. Mm. So do you, is that what you do? Do you deliver workshops in schools? Do you do anything? So how, how is that related to workshops in schools? Um, in, in my performing arts, I do, as I said, I, we do, I do drumming. Okay. So we go to schools around mm -hmm. the UK, mm -hmm. um, to educate, to do dr African drumming, okay. teach them African drumming, mm -hmm. teach them African, uh, dancing, storytelling, mm -hmm. um, all these educational things, yeah. which reflects the, where we come from. Okay. And mostly that happens around October, which is the Black History Month. More Black History Month. Uh -huh. And the reason why they choose that month is because um, all Black History Month is related to black, all black people who, uh, who are inspired, who have inspired our generation. Okay. Right? And because our, all their roots come from Africa, mm. there is not anywhere they can get those, those the, to present that mm. in, in real life. Mm. So the best way is to get the African people who are around here yeah. to come and do do that or deliver that mm. in the African way. So we go to schools training children how to do all these kind of crafts. Um, yeah. Okay, that's mm. beautiful. So when you say we go to schools, is it you or do you have a company or someone sends you to school? How do they send you to school? Um, I have my organizations mm. i work with um artists mm -hmm. um my my organization one of them is called acd arts okay. which is african culture development and uh, it, its aim as well is to 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 bring you know entertainment through the community yeah. to the community 
and then I have the new one which I've created, which was Band to Arts, mm. and that still as well. Um, it primarily focuses on theatrical performances okay. and other things, the other aspect that are related to uh, we black people. Okay. Um, but um, working working with other fellow artists as well. It's, it's very paramount. They send me to go to different schools. Um, just working together, really, as a okay. team. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So if it was someone wanted to contact you for workshops in schools, I know you said you work for ACD Arts and yeah. Bantu Arts. Yeah. How do we get to you? Just tell us how yeah, you can get to you. can just call me on 0788-641-4531. That's 0788-641-4531. You can log on to www.acdarts.com or www.bantuarts.co.uk and Bantu is B-A-N-T-U Arts, A-R-T-S. Wow. Thank you very much, Didi Kasamba. It was a very interesting interview today with you. you. I'm glad to meet you today I'm glad and i hope i'll see more more of you dancing well, and singing and it's acting. a small world it's a small, small world, world i would say so okay. yeah we'll definitely meet up